Hello there and welcome. My name is Ganesh and I'm from LearnEnglishLab.com and in this lesson we're going to discuss where to use have, has and had. This is a very popular question among a lot of uh, English learners. Now before we get into the rules, remember that the verb have is the base form. That means that has and had are not different verbs. They're all just different forms of the same verb, which is have. So we're going to call this the base form. Okay. Now this verb is used in two ways. First, it's used to show possession. This means that um, it shows that you have something. For example, if I say I have a car, it means that I own a car. Okay? Uh, or you can say she has two sisters. That, of course, does not mean that she owns her sisters. It just means that she is related to um, these two people in her family. They're her sisters. So here it shows the relationship between them. Okay? So in that way, it shows possession. Now, have can also be used as a helping verb. Here, I have two sentences in the uh, present perfect tense. Now, if you look at this sentence over here, I have finished my homework. In this sentence, have is not showing that someone has something. That's not the function. In this sentence, the main verb is finished. Here. That's the main verb. Have is helping this verb. And if you hear the sentence, of, if someone says, I have finished my homework, then you might guess that maybe they've just finished their homework. Or if a kid tells this to his mother, he says, Mom, I've just finished, or I've finished my homework. Uh, can I go out and play now? Then uh, there's some connection between his finishing the homework and the present because he wants to go out and play. So here, it's helping the main verb. And it's the same thing over here. Pierre has got a new job. Now, if you hear this, you would guess that Pierre has maybe recently got a new job. That's the function of has over here. Okay. So have is used in two main ways. One is to show possession and two as a helping verb. Okay, now let's talk about where to use have, has, and had. Now, which one you choose, that is, which form of have you choose, uh, will depend on two things. It depends on the tense of the sentence, and it also depends on the subject of the sentence. Remember that the subject is who or what is doing the action. Let's uh, first look at the present tense. If you have a sentence in the present tense, and if the subject is I, you, we, they, or any plural nouns, then you will use the base form, that is have. So in this sentence, Paul and Amber have a beautiful house. This sentence is in the present tense, and here we have a plural because it's Paul and Amber, two people. So we're using have. Now, if this was only Paul, then we would use has. We might say, Paul has a beautiful house, or Amber has a beautiful house. But because it's two people, Paul and Amber, we use have. Paul and Amber have a beautiful house. Now, if the subject is I, or you, or we, or they, we still use have. So, I have a beautiful house, or you have a beautiful house, we have a beautiful house, etc. Have a look at this sentence. Here, Murray has a degree in economics. Murray is a singular noun. So, if you have a sentence in the present tense, but the subject is he, she, it, or any singular noun, then we will use has. Murray, once again, is a singular noun. 
So Murray has a degree in economics. He has a degree in economics. She has a degree in economics, etc. Uh, over here, I have two sentences for you in the present perfect tense. Uh, I have taught English for six years. Okay? We're using have because the subject is I. But look at this sentence. He has taught English for six years. Now, both of these sentence, uh, sentences are basically just the same. The only difference is the subject, which is I here and he here. But because the subject is I, the verb is have, and because the subject is he, the verb form becomes has. That is the only difference here. Okay. So all of these are sentences in the present tense. Now let's talk about the past tense. If you have a sentence in the past tense, well, uh, it's good news because no matter what subject you have, you will always use had. Okay, so here they had a car. That means um, they don't have a car now, they had a car in the past. But we're using had because it's in the past tense. If this was I, it's still I had a car, you had a car, he had a car, she had a car, Paul and Amber had a car, Murray had a car. It doesn't matter what subject, always had. Same thing over here. Anna had taught English for six years. This sentence is similar to these two sentences, except that this is in the past. So Anna had taught English for six years, but then something happened. Maybe she doesn't teach English anymore because of that. Okay. Uh, but again, whatever subject, you still use had. Okay, now I'm going to give you a small test to see if you can use have, has, and had correctly. Here, I've got five sentences, and your job is to fill the blank in each sentence with the correct form of the verb from the options, okay? Let's uh, look at the first sentence. Jennifer, mm, two daughters. Is it have or has? Well, the subject of this sentence is Jennifer, and this sentence is in the present tense. Jennifer is a noun. She's only one person, so she is a singular noun. Jennifer is a singular noun, so we use has. Jennifer has two daughters. Uh, number two, I mm, a pet rabbit when I lived in Texas. Now the first thing you should notice is that this sentence is in the past tense. We know that because here we're talking about when I lived in Texas. So that's in the past. Okay. So would you use have or had here? Well, you don't even need to look at the subject because as soon as you have a sentence in the past tense, you can only use had. So you know that as soon as you see a sentence in the past tense. I had a pet rabbit when I lived in Texas. Number three, where are you? We've been waiting for you for 45 minutes. This is something that you might say to a friend you know, on the phone. Hey, where are you? We've mm, been waiting for you for a long time, for 45 minutes. So would you say have or has? Well, the subject of this sentence is we. And if the subject is we, you use have because this sentence is in the present. This is in fact in the present perfect tense. So we have been waiting for you for 45 minutes. This is still happening, so it's in the present, remember. Number four, the family mm, already eaten dinner when Charles came home. What tense is this in? Well, you should immediately see that this is in the past tense, because we're talking about when Charles came home. So, have or had? Easy, past tense. Had. 
The family had already eaten dinner when Charles came home. So when he came home, dinner was finished. So no dinner for Charles. Number five, she, mm, a great talent for acting. Have or has? This is in the present and because we have the subject as she, we're going to use has. Right, how many of those did you get correct? Let me know in the comments and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section as well. And I will see you in another lesson.